chewing tobacco. Chewing chew. Red man review. <laughs> yeah. This is the only shoe I tried. But I don't need to try anymore, you will find out why. I, I'll show you the package. You see here how it looks like the shoe. It looks like tree roots or something. Can't go, I can't do. Two, 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 <laughs> You're getting a bug! <laughs> the game is gonna crash on you! <laughs> You're getting a bug! <laughs> You're getting a crashing! <laughs> <laughs> Let's make it more difficult. <laughs> Let's make it more difficult. <laughs> Hello. Um, today I thought uh, I would talk a little bit about energy draining power. Why am I doing this, man? Why am I doing this? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hello, welcome. 
Mnie <śmiech> mnie Kim liguje? Jest kan for tedy liktom mnie nie film. I mnie no i słuchaj i logat mnie nie film i sum hoi blikte likte gana sente rundum kreni baden. I no i skali i bine po mnie neste film. O deni kometebli likte gana analizin mnie tiliga film. Well, for the first class to come to be a stoner film, you shall be a tweet for DVD. <laughs> oh yeah. This is also a so-called non-profit. Det betyder ju att det är sin åken som tjänar pengar på detta här grejen här. Det är bara en sån tid, vet du. Men hvis du har lyst til å bli litt kjent litt utenfor landet, så har du altså muligheter nå. Den kommer til å bli sett av en god del folk og alle mine fans tidligere, som kommer til å se på denne her. Men jeg har litt problemer. Vel, egentlig ikke. Jeg trenger en plass å bo der jeg skal filme litt. Og jeg tenkte å filme litt i Oslo, fordi det er den nærmeste plassen til alle sammen. Så slipper alle folkene å reise så langt. Så har du en plass der jeg kan filme litt innenfor. Og kan se litt grann... Utenfor. Så setter jeg pris på det. Det har jeg veldig godt bruk for. Jeg kan sende manuskript til alle de som er interessert i å være med på denne her. Greiene her. Jeg filmer det ganske raskt, så det er ikke noe som tar veldig lang tid. Men siden det er så mye å filme, så er det en god del du får gjort det. Ja. Og det er også ganske mye plass for improvisasjon. Hvis du liker å finne på litt grann i vanvittigheter, så er det helt ok. Ok, på mine filmer, altså. Det er jo helt greit det der, altså. Og vet du hva? Hvis du kommer helt dritings på settet, så sier jeg bare, thumbs up, det er helt ok. Men det er ikke noen andre enn meg som er noe verdt i dette her. Jeg er både produsent, skuespiller, musiker, klipper og alt det andre greiene som de alltid har med på de andre filmene som folk lager i dag. Så du må nok regne med å stå litt grann bak kamera og filme litt på oss andre når vi er ute og så har det gøy. For dette her kommer til å bli veldig gøy. Dette her er en film for dere som har lyst du spør litt annen type filming, altså. For de som spør litt alternativ opplevelse og eventyr. Hello everybody, my name is Jim Kimbalgoo. And right now I am working on putting together my new movie. Really, really good. <laughs> Hello, my name is Kimberly Gooby. Yeah, I'm an accomplished film director, and I made many fucking movies for you fucking people in the world. And now I'm starting to make a new movie, and and now I'm gonna tell you a little bit about. Things in the happen. I better put my jacket on. Good day, Jimmy. Nice to see you again. Hey, hey. This time is is going to be a little bit different than my previous offerings to the world. Well, first off, my previous movies. We've done all for free from everybody in the people. 
But like this fucking bush speaks to me. I changed my plans. And now I'm going to do this with everybody getting a little cash. Uh, yeah, everybody's gonna get a little cash from this new, new uh, adventure I'm, go I'm going on. I'm gonna be working. Uh, it's gonna be filmed uh, uh, oh, uh, 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 in the old uh, way. Uh, uh, it's gonna be released uh, like my previous movies. For free download, of course. Don't worry about that. <laughs> Look at what we found here. A couple of things. That's what you call first class prop for the movie. Yeah. I. Uh, yeah, if. Uh, I'm, uh, yeah. It's gonna be filmed as, as soon as possible. Because uh, there the has already been waited a, a long time for this movie. So uh, it's been a, a couple of years since my last day. And I'm into the movie. So it's going to be good, going to be good, going to be good, going to be good. And unlike my previous movies, this one is going to be very long. It's going to be at least one and a half hour. A full playing movie. And you will feature many actors. Yeah, I tell ya, it will be very beautiful. Just like this flower here. Hey, look at this. That's how beautiful my, my movie is gonna get. I'm <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> hey, much more beautiful. Beautiful, a fucking beautiful movie for you fucking people. <laughs> it's a little, going a little jungle tip. I just wanted to inform you people of, of this, this new uh, happening. If you want to take part of this absurdity, and you don't, and you come from a country, some place in the middle of fucking nowhere, then uh, it's okay, and you don't mind taking a little uh, dance for the cannibals in the jungle. Then you can send an email to kimberlycubbs at hotmail.com. And I, I will see if I can do uh, something about it. But you have to be quick. Or else you're gonna end up like this fucking bush. Uh, I mean tree, of course. <laughs> yeah! New fucking movie, man! Yeah! My fucking time! Oh, is it? Bye, and thanks for watching. Kibbele Gubbies, signing off. Check my website for more information. Hello. Today I thought I would do some uh, video some video we learn to feel learn to feel 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 we do them all one day then. Keep on. Hello, people. Today I thought I would do some reviews of them. Snooze. I'm going to do some reviews of them. I got a lot of news to review today. Hello. Let's have a look at all the different stuff we got today for you. Look at it. Yeah. You got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
that's sharing the relief for you today. And now you're gonna do them all one by one. Uh, and uh, all of these are yeah, loose shoes. Except for this, we hit the one which is posted. And this is the one we're gonna start with. This one. Uh, I like better loose shoes because I'm gonna give me this one. It hurts less. It's it, it better, I think. We're gonna start with the potion first. <sighs> it is uh, a. 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 you to boy this rape. White Lodge. Some nasty motherfucking shit, I tell ya. I ain't looking forward to it. When I first tried this, I thought it was the best news I ever tried, but... <laughs> that didn't last for long. It's, it's, it's shit tough. At least it makes a good sound the box. So that's one positive thing about it. Now let's give, let's give it a spin. Hmm. I'll be back to tell you a little bit more about it. <laughs> okay, there yeah, we're still going straight into the YouTube book great. I'm getting raped. It's not very pleasant. I don't, I don't recommend it to try it. You can try it. It's very good. Very, very, very good. Shit, I spilled this over the whole place. Uh, throw it away, throw it away, shit. Put one in the box, just in case. Just in case. Santa comes and he wants a little bit of it. You never know if Santa Claus is coming, so. It's good to have a little bit extra surprise for Santa Claus. Okay, the taste. Well, this is uh, more uh, be uh, some kind of berries. I think uh, it's got a very unique, uh, distinctive uh, taste and uh, flavor to it. I think uh, it's very uh, unique uh, compared to the others on the market. But uh, <laughs> it's a more of a personal preference. Uh, I don't think it is. Uh, it's a bit unpleasant. It's, uh, have to wait a little bit longer to get a get a better grasp on it. I think I'm gonna check back in in a, in a little time. Yeah, now the taste com comes from comes from very good. Day. It's got a very strong taste, very strong taste, um, and it doesn't taste of much uh, as much tobacco taste as, as, as some of the others have. Uh, well, it does have. You ca you can feel the tobacco good, but uh, mm, it's 
There's some 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 stuff going on. Uh, I get a little bit uh, because this is portions, uh, and I, I I like loose a lot better. I tried to get this in, in loose format, the same one, but, but I haven't been able to find it around around the area. I have, so I'm stuck with the portions if I want to use this brand. We can try and uh, open one up just to see what is inside the box. Uh, the, the thing. Let's open it up here. Let's see what we got while well, I let the taste flow in my mouth. Let's see what we got here. Oops. I just put it in my hands. What do we spill it all over? Okay. There you got it. Good shit. But uh, yeah, th th this can be hard to bake. <laughs> if you just take it out of the package and bake it, it's not the same. I don't think it's the same uh, as if you get the loose one instead. I think I think I think it's a little bit different uh, style of stuff. Taste. Yeah, the, 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 this is very hard, hard to bake. <laughs> it's not meant to be baked at all. It's, it's, it's in a baggie. Uh, and I will say, uh, when I f first uh, went from smoking to snoozing not too long ago, I done it before many years ago, but this time. Uh, uh, when I first tried it, I thought it was the best one, but uh, over time uh, I changed my opinion uh, and now it's not my uh, far away from my favorite. I don't think I would ever buy this again. It, it has a lot of a lot of um, taste in it and the, it, the taste can get stuck in your mouth for a while and uh, yeah. But uh, I think I have what the, I think this is enough for that. Let's let's get on to the more exciting stuff. The next package. And uh, yeah, let's start straight with this one. I'll do it them all in the order. Yeah. Uh, Odin's uh, Extreme Number Fifty Nine. This one has. Uh, let's get this shit out. This. Oh. I, I gotta come back, just uh, wait one second. I just have a cut of some nasty aftertaste on the, uh, the bowl grape. Left out with the hair. Uh, wait a minute. Fuck. Let's film it over here so you can see it, see it a little bit better. In case you have seen it before. Hmm? This, this one here, uh, I've only tried one before. And it's uh, it's very uh, hard to bake compared to some of the other loose. I, I think. Let's, let's get one going right away. So since this is so hard to bake, I'm gonna use a little bit magic to bake it this one now. Just watch me now for a very alternative way of, of baking or doing. You're supposed to know. You know what I do here. Things I love bimbo. Boom. <coughs> Look at that. Pure magic. Now we have one good little ball. Yeah, this one is very hard to bake. bake. Compared to all of this, the hardest snooze style I, I ever had. Try to uh, uh, hardest loose uh, news I ever tried to make. Uh, fuck, see now it falls apart. Fuck. I'm coming back. Wait a minute. Ah, oh, fuck the dude on camera. <coughs> We're gonna do this. 
Oh, I still had a year to bow rape the aftertaste in my mouth. Oh, it's a tough one. It's a tough one too. It's one I'm, I'm never gonna use again. I I I went through maybe a few boxes now and uh, I've had enough. I, I've had enough. Enough you to bog for a long time. But I, I'll definitely try try it again if I can uh, if I run across the loose uh, version of it. Then then I think I w it will be worth to try it. Okay, have we got the ball again? Let's try it now. Let's hope we don't break apart. Yeah, a little bit. But it's in there, it's in there, it's in there. Good enough. Yeah. And if you look at... Ah, uh, it's mostly gone now, but... Uh, this is this is a, a very messy, very messy on the, on the hands compared to the other news. The other news is is not as nowhere near as messy as this. I think it's the messiest and hardest one to bake I, that I I have tried so far in my life. So yeah, definitely not one for new beginners. Ah. I don't know, remember if I mentioned this already, but this has uh, cinnamon in it. So yeah, and you can definitely taste the cinnamon. It's, but it doesn't overpower the tobacco. You can still, I would say it's 50-50. 50% uh, cinnamon and 50% tobacco. At least that's what it feels like to me. As you might know, this is not no or oh, whatever. This is um, Odin's the brand. There's, there's a lot of variations on the loose uh, Odin's loose snus. There's so ma many variations on them. There's the original loose, and there's the extreme versions, and many different variations on each one. And this is um, the extreme version. And this is actually the, the Odin's Extreme, it's actually the world's most st powerful, I mean, most strongest uh, snooze. It is stronger than the Thunder, the Odin's Extreme version. Of, uh, I have some other Extreme here yeah, that I'm going to review later, so you will get to see the difference, I will show you the differences and all that stuff later. And, uh, yeah. And all of them come with this to put it in. But, uh, <laughs> yes, <laughs> it's like some of the other loose uh, snooze. They, they don't, they don't have uh, this. Mostly because, well, you don't really need it technically, really. But uh, this, 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 these are more designed for portions, I guess. But. Uh, and he, whoever, whoever, you know. <sighs> yeah, I can feel the extremeness of this. Uh, I'm gonna let it sit in my mouth for a little bit longer, and then I'm gonna come back and tell you a little bit more about the flavor and taste before I move on to the next uh, snooze. Yeah, I, I don't. Yeah, I don't, I don't really keep uh, everyone in my mouth for too long because I'm doing a review, so it's, they're not gonna be in my mouth for long, each one. Because battery time and everything, I just wanna do a quick, do, go through all of them quickly. Mm, the, the package looks looks okay. It's a dark red uh, hint towards brown. So I'm gonna show you the one I'm gonna do do next. You see here. Looks very similar. You see on the box from a distance that this can look very similar. 
but th this is all black and this is da dark red it's the same brand except uh, this is original extreme this is original uh, extreme number 59 with cinnamon which I'm doing right now and this, ne this one I'm gonna do next let's go straight into it right away I'll show you while I have this in my mouth I'll show you the next fuck now I spilled a lot of it oh fuck ah uh, but you know what that doesn't matter because this is actually my least favorite of the whole bunch and I'm actually not look, look looking forward to trying to to really this and uh, here you can see how it look look like this is the snooze that I tried in my last uh, video blog, the one that made me sick. I just woke up in the morning and this was the first snooze I tried in the morning. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't recommend it, but you can try it, you can try it, but uh, I, I wouldn't start the morning with this one again. It, it made me sick and I actually haven't tried it since after the last video, so let's hope it doesn't make me sick now. Let's bake it while I'm reviewing this cinnamon in my mouth. I actually don't taste as much cinnamon from it now as I did before when I used it for the first time. But, but it's definitely there someplace. Yeah, the tobacco comes on really strong, really strong in this dark red. But, uh, yeah it's not a snooze i will buy again I, I i don't think it's very that that great but if you like cinnamon and and, and you you snooze for uh, you snooze before and you want to try something really strong and you like cinnamon then uh, yeah you you can try this it's a worthwhile pr purchase but uh yeah, it is strong, it is strong, so you gotta prepare for that, a little bit strong. Yeah. <laughs> that little bit strong, here yeah, is the world's strongest. Or so they say. Yeah, as you can see, this next one here is already much easier to bake than the red dark red one did. This is the one that is, this is so hot, hard to bake compared to all the others. I don't know why, I don't know why. Yeah, there we got a good one going on. A good one. Now we're gonna do the taste comparison. Oh fuck! I think I need. A, I can coming back. Coming back soon. I just need a little, little bit drink. I'm gonna get all fucked in my mouth after this. Let's put it in my mouth there. Oh, fucking cinnamon. Now we're going to. Oh ha ha! I ain't looking forward to this. Odin's original extreme Odin's extreme original Yeah, didn't break apart or anything that the the priest put out there. Yeah, so this is what I'm doing right now. And this uh, yeah how you see the difference between the two. This is the one I just reviewed, and this is the one I'm gonna review now. The one that made me sick, the one I'm, I'm pricking at. I'm tapping at. Yeah, let's show it one more time for you. You see, uh, let's, let's, do, let's do them both at the same time.
<laughs> yeah, not much of a visible difference there. Uh. In fact, uh, they look almost exactly the same. I would say this uh, uh, this uh, cinnamon. Uh, I would say it looks like it's a little bit finer cut, finer cut. This is a little bit more harsh or rougher cut, maybe a little bit, but I wouldn't say by much. Uh, it doesn't look much different. A little bit, but not much. Uh, this I'm not gonna keep in my mouth for long as no way. I'm coming back in um, one or two one or two minutes and, and I'll tell you a little bit more about it. Yeah, th this is uh, I'm back. And this is uh, <laughs> oh, this is my least favorite sneeze uh, of, of all the ones I tried uh, of the loose snooze. Uh, this is my least favorite. Uh, the uh, uh, already I'm getting uh, tired tired from this. Yeah, uh, already I'm getting getting to the level. Oh fuck! Just get it out there. Pooh! It's all out. <sighs> oh my god. Pooh! The cinema much better. Number fifty nine much better. Oh, yeah, by far. This is like taking the worst aspect of the cinnamon and putting it to a moist. Okay. Now we move on. Thank God. Uh, that's the one snooze I never buy again. The old and, uh, old and original extreme black. Here you have uh, the next one. <laughs> this is not. Uh, this is also Odin's loose, but it's not the extreme version. So it's not as strong as uh, the uh, last two I've tried. Yeah, this is. Uh, it doesn't say on the front cover, but if you turn it around a little bit to the side, you'll see that it says lime. Forty grams lime. So this is a lime taste on it. Yeah, I forgot to mention the the smell on uh, Odin's Extreme. Yeah, this one smells very different than any other snooze I've ever tried. Oh, it smells rotten. It smells like something rotten that came from the farm, you know. And this is the. Oh, fuck. Oh, that wasn't much. I didn't go there. Yeah, there's always some spillage with this. Always some spillage. Here you can see the lime, Odin's. Uh, lime, loose. And let's do the comparison to, to, to the others. Uh, to, the, to the one I tried that. Uh, there's not much difference. Let's let's um, bake one. <coughs> this is actually a snooze that uh, I've actually bought more than once. Uh, oh, fuck this combo. This is actually a snooze that I, I bought more more than once. So. Uh, that's at least a little good sign that uh, that I'm moving up to a more uh, to a, to a better level of of in this this world now. Now I, I now I done all my worst snoozes <laughs> first, so now so now it's only going to go up up from here. Let's hope so. Uh, but that's not a promise. Yeah, this one can be a little bit tricky to to, to really bake also. A little bit harder to bake than the number 59. No, I mean the, the, the black one. 
Leave the hollow to be in the back one. But not by much. Not by much. Uh, that's that's good enough. I'm not gonna spend spend all day on this. And the camera is, is getting a little bit low. Yeah, there you have have one that's good enough for a, for a quick review. I need a bit more drink for this shit. Let's do a smell. Yeah, uh, it's not the best smell in the world, but. Uh, Let's do it on, on, on the other side. Uh, went in no problem. <sighs> a little bit tired now. So it's not easy to do a, a review of, of so many snooze in one video. Yeah, I'll be back. Get him more drink. Yeah, I'm gonna spend a little bit more time, a little bit time with with each uh, snooze. Because I want this video to be sincere, you know. I just don't want to talk about some bullshit. This is not the extreme one. I think it needs to be in my mouth a little bit longer, but it's okay to eat this. Now I feel the taste now. This is a snooze that I, I bought again because uh, well it was one of the first uh, loose uh, that I uh, uh, the ones that I tried that wasn't uh, in the normal brands that you get at the super supermarkets there they have a very limited choice especially in loose snooze very limited choice so uh, you have to go I have to go to a special uh, tobacco shop to to get all this stuff. So, uh, and in that shop, this was one of the first ones that I ventured into, so, and I thought it was okay at the time, but, uh, uh, it's got a very distinctive uh, taste, very distinctive, uh, you recognize it, I recognize this one very easily, uh, I think it's okay, <laughs> but, uh, I, this is not the one I would buy again. Ah, uh, you know what? Fuck this shit. Uh, <coughs> oh, shit. No. Oh. I think that was a sign that we move on to the next one. <coughs> the next one I'm, I'm gonna use is a. Uh, oh shit. Oh. Pooh, I'm running out of battery. 
It was like 50 minutes before I did this, now it's only 26 minutes left. I hope I get the chance to do the final three. <sighs> oh, now we move over to the extreme again. This was actually one that I was surprised by. This is a spare mint. As you can see, th th this one actually does look a little bit different than the other ones. And the smell is very strong. Even from here, I smell it very strong. Very strong from here. Mm. Very strong smell. And it's not an unpleasant smell. It's, it's more for mint. It's menthol. Th this one is like a uh, menthol cigarette, you know. It has that refreshing taste on it. You know, like uh, you feel like your whole mouth is being refreshed, you know. You get a fresh start, kind of. No, I don't want to take much of this because I only want to take a little bit of this. I'll show, show you the cover co more detail later. Let's make one. You see, I'm, I'm not take not, not to take it that, that much. This is just a small, smaller one. Ah, oh, fuck. Ah, whatever, man. So yeah, this is one I was uh, uh, surprised by. Just the smell alone, the first time I smelled this, I said, Oh, this I never want to use. But I, I went ahead and used it anyway. And I was somewhat surprised. For an extreme, uh, for such a uh, strong, uh, this is extreme, uh, one of the strongest, one of the strongest use, uh, for such an extreme uh, nicotine content, it, uh, it was a surprise. Surprise! I was expecting to get sick and get all fucked with the taste, but uh, no. The the the, the mean taste. It didn't take that long to get out, get out of there. Yeah, and it's not that hard to bake compared to the old some of the others. See, there we go. One nice good one here. One nice good one here. Whoa. Yeah. Let's give it a go. First, I'm gonna have a little bit more drink because after this, I'm probably gonna be all fucked. Damn, I fucked up. I fucked up. Damn, I fucked up big time there when I put it in. Bit too much pressure on you. Who cares? It went in anyway. <laughs> I have to make this one so too. That's the fucking cover. You can see the. Uh, I can never see on this camera which, which direction is the right one. And it says uh, on the side. Uh, Cold, cold, it says. And it's also said, uh, yeah, it says, caution, it can blow your mind. And it did kind of blow my mind a little bit. Oh, yeah, this is very refreshing. The, the mint taste kicks in straight away. Straight away, you put it in your mouth. Boom, there you get the menthol uh, refreshed uh, feeling and taste on it straight away. And it really overpowers the tobacco, it really o overpowers it. So, um, if the other snooze, uh, if you tried some extreme snooze before and uh, you thought it was too much heavy tobacco, tobacco taste on it, give this one a go if you're into extreme snooze. If you thought there was 
because uh, ain't too much tobacco taste. The mint uh, overpowers almost everything. So, uh, and it's uh, extreme. It's, it, it, it really can blow your mind like it says on the package. So, uh, this one uh, I, I recommend. <coughs> but I'm not sure uh, if the one I would use often because of the mint taste. Yeah, you can make everything else taste minty, you know. <laughs> so that, that's that. But uh, this is very good for uh, if you are on the bus or if you are on the train. You can uh, use this. This is very good for this. Yeah, I'm running low on time, so I think I'm gonna spit this out straight away. No, let's just keep it in my mouth until I roll this. And now we're moving on to a completely different brand, Etan's Loose News. I'm not sure how strong this is, but I don't think it's very strong. And this uh, it says on package A1822. So see, this one doesn't come with the. Uh, like Odin's, with the one you can uh, do that with. Most loose don't come with that. Yeah, I want it. It's mostly Odin's. I have that one. Let's get this meat out. I don't want this in my mouth now. Uh, I gotta be quick now. 90 minutes left. Hey, you can see, uh, oh, okay, <laughs> yeah, this, uh, yeah, this is a new one I got today, never tried before today, oh, so many other two, this one I also never tried before, before today, and this one never tried before today, so, so these two, the cinnamon and the uh, spearmint, the cold, the um, extreme uh, cold, just as it's called, loose cold, extreme Odin's loose cold, and uh, the Ettans, those three, uh, I never, the first time I tried them today. Let's get, get on with the uh, uh, bake. Let's see how this one uh, bakes compared to the others. Yeah, that means it stays in your mouth for quite a bit. It's good I didn't keep it in any longer. Yeah, there are many different ways you can bake a sluice, many different ways. No, they are fucked up. No, I didn't. I see many different methods of baking methods. I have my own method actually. But uh, I'm a variation of the some other methods. I like to get my snooze tight so it do doesn't break apart. Yeah, I might as well mention this now. Uh, I bought uh, this Priest Master. <laughs> Yeah, not too good. <laughs> if you bake, I'm gonna be use this to bake uh, the last one afterwards, and I'll show you why I don't think it's very good. Okay, see, fuck. Yeah, this one is a little bit trickier to bake than actually some of the others, some of the others there. Uh, 
Uh, we got a we got a good one there. Good enough for a review. I'm already getting a little bit Boom! So now we're doing the Ethan. Let's change this fucking camera angle. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, you see I'm wearing my team like me doing. Okay, no geez, wait a minute. Okay. Shit, four minutes left, so I'm, I'm just gonna be a a barely able to make this video. I think I better roll the last one. Before I do a review on this, let's get, get the next one rolled, uh, baked, I mean, right away. The last one I'm gonna review. <laughs> I'm, don't worry, I'm gonna review this, just cloning this while I'm waiting more for the taste and stuff. Odin's original loose. <laughs> yeah, you might have seen a lot of these by now. Yeah, four different loose variations of Odin's already. And there's even more than these loose variations. Okay, even more. Even more. Mm. Yeah, this is not the extreme uh, version. Uh, this. Yeah, now let's go straight into the review right away. This has got a very tobacco-ish to, to, to taste. Uh, yeah. You can definitely feel the tobacco going good there. Oh, yeah. I wouldn't say that was the best one. Oh, yeah, I forget. This is an, I haven't opened this one yet. I've, I've actually bought it. This is how I should try the uh, our box 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 or two before. Yeah, this is straightly open now. Open for the first time now with this review. Whoa. There you see. Yeah. To get the to bag all. Let's get the uh, I was. I think I need to try the essence a little bit more before I can make a 100% certain statement but I can think I can say already that I'm not gonna buy it again. With the essence there's only really one choice if you want loose news, they, they don't have any. They, they advertise that this is the same taste as I actually was back in the 1800s. They haven't changed the taste one bit. On it, this is the same shit I've been doing for 200 years now. Almost. I'm getting tired of this. Uh, 11 minutes left, I better make this quick. Uh, this Ettans, this has a very. Uh, there's not any special tastes on it. This is pretty much just pure tobacco, kind of sick, kind of sickening. Uh, but there's a lot of variations of pure tobacco. Just because a snooze has pure tobacco, it doesn't mean that they all taste the same. Like there's many different snooze that have pure tobacco, but they all taste different from each other, despite the fact that they advertise as just being pure, pure tobacco. That doesn't mean, yeah, they, they all taste different from each other, despite that. Um, I think this is probably the worst uh, pure tobacco uh, snooze I would try, so fuck, fuck, fuck this shit. Go. I think this is too much snooze in one go. So many extreme snooze, so much powerful nicotine. How much of a life, 10 minutes? Yeah, I make it, I make it. 
maybe we will get time for a quick overview after I'm done this. But I gotta admit my taste is kind of biased at the moment because I've used all these other snooze. It does fuck a little bit with the tastes on the other snooze as well. So keep that in, in the back of mind maybe. I guess this has been a long video, huh? Um, uh, was it 50 minutes? Have I gotten so much? I'm getting better rolling now. <laughs> I'm, I'm, not, I'm in baking, I'm not, I'm not into it right now. You see, I've almost fucked that one up. Mm. What's good, I took the etans out there. I was glad I didn't keep it in there longer now. Oh fuck, this looks like a big one. Big motherfucker. Oh. Eight minutes, I can barely make this. I have to put it in straight away. Otherwise, I'm not gonna make the time. So, the final review. Oh, Orden Sluice. News original black package. So you have the taste. These are the same, except that this is extreme and this is not extreme. But hey, it's far from the same. Far from the same. I was talking about the I'm actually getting a little bit thick of news at the moment. because of all the different ones I tried at the same time that did it well I'm not gonna read each one individually that, that that's 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 too much for me I don't, I'm not the man who keeps the camera on every time whoa yeah, I'm getting really bad at rolling this. What the fuck am I doing even? I can't tell, I'm getting all... <laughs> yeah, whatever, there you have one nice little... Prilla. Whatever they call it, priest. Mm. That didn't that didn't break apart at all. Mm. Six minutes left. Yeah, I'll be just barely enough to make it on this. I'm coming back soon. Yeah, I'm back. Now I'm gonna show you this. I think I did in my mouth. I want to show you why I don't think this is how it works by purchase. Well, it might be this, but I'll show you. Let's take this kind of knife. No, fuck that one. Let's take this, the one I'm using now. Yeah, whatever. I'll show you why. Let's see how long. We just pick one with the priest master here. Let's push it out. Get this up close. You see. You see how now. This is what you got. Let's move this fucking camera around. As you can see, you see. This is what, what you got left with. 
Now if you were to put any kind of pressure on this, like try to put it in your mouth, and there will be some pressure from the lips and cheeks and whatever, and then it falls apart so easily, see? It's a little bit pressure, boom, 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 boom. It all falls apart very easily. Nothing all kind of pointless really. If you want to use this, you have to. It's not tight enough. That, that's the problem with the, the print that you make. It. It's, it's not tight enough. So that's yeah, the that's, that's problem with this. But uh, hey, <laughs> I haven't tried the ice tool yet because yeah, it's very expensive. So and it's not really worth it because I can just bake it one myself and it will be. The one, once I bake will be, the ones I bake are much more tight than the ones that come from these. Once I bake, I can put it in my mouth and close my lips and there uh, will still be intact. But with this, you try to put, put it on from these and fall about very easily. Yeah, and let's quickly finish it with, shit, i got only three minutes left. This, I think, is the best pure tobacco. Most, I, mean, I mean, it's better than this one, I mean. Yes, it's pure tobacco, both of them, but it's different taste, you know. Let's do a quickly smell. Okay. Yeah, smell different. This is a more sickening, uh, I think it's a little bit more sickening smell and taste on it. I wouldn't buy this again. If I had a choice between... If I had a choice between these two, I'd definitely get this. For sure. Odin's better, better brand than Ethan's, I think. Yeah, and let's do a quick, quick, um, I think I'm even gonna keep this in my mouth for a while. Now let's do a quick, have a look, quick. I've only got two minutes left now. And let's do a quick overview and quick uh, overview. This uh, yeah, Ethan's, pure tobacco, Little bit uh, sickening, disgusting flavor on it. You have the box rape, a lot of herbs, a lot of herby taste. Get have a long after taste on it. I haven't tried the loose snooze version of this, so it will probably be better than the potions. Yes, I know, but I can't find it here. This is the, yeah, good if you like cinnamon. I, I wouldn't buy it again. Lime, yeah, okay, okay. Well, probably won't buy it again. Oh, I'm very sick now. Spare mint, oh fuck. Uh, two spare mint, yeah, I really recommend you try this one. If you have tried a lot of extreme snooze and a lot of snooze in your life, and you want something really extreme but not overpowering tobacco, get this one. I recommend it. This old and sexy, I do not recommend. This, yeah, it's okay. It's better than, maybe a tad bit better than Ethan's, but, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to stick with this one for a while. So, now it's zero minutes left. And now I'm saying good fucking bye. I just made it in time. Ha! With the video. Checking off. My website, Kim Likbui. Hello, people. And now, today I thought I would. Make some in, in new reviews on some new things. Cause we are well cool. It's the cake of cool today. And today I'm also gonna review a lot of lot of different ones for you. So you know, now let's have a look at all the different ones we're gonna review today. <coughs> uh, forget about the looks. Let's just go straight into reviewing the first one I pick up. This is General Loose. General Loose. Let's hit the sack with the butt. Swack. I'm not looking forward to this. Tomorrow. Okay, let's start baking. Okay, let's do the General Loose. Oh, it's been a while since I baked now. I recently moved over to uh, potions again. I don't really like all this shit in my mouth. Don't smell much. 
tune it probably because this is quite old actually but is this still loose I got yeah it's all my loose I have a review damn I haven't done this for a while let me show you a camera let me show you how much I fuck this up It's good I fuck it up because then it's just gonna get a smaller one. Which is good because I don't want, want this to be a longer one. Ah, I do get a decent one there, I think. I'll just put this in my mouth straight away. Oh shit! Okay, yeah. Oh, oh fuck, I dropped it. Oh. Yeah, I'll be back a little bit later to tell you more about it. Hmm, it's a midnight snoozing. I forgot about how much difference there is between the, the loose and the, and the portions. It's quite a lot, quite a lot of difference between the two, I think. But let's. Um, I, I, I come, I come back, I come back. Yeah, this ain't so pleasant. This one, I would say, it's kind of like, um, oh, it's like battery, like battery liquid, or something like that. As like, like running through, like. But there's a lot of difference between this loose general and the general portions. Both of them original versions. And there's a lot of difference between those two. A lot of difference, but I would say the portions are better. So if you want to try some general, I recommend the portions. But it's okay. I don't think I want to keep this in my mouth anymore. I think it's time to uh, move on to the next one. Uh, uh, the, the, this uh, package, uh, as you can see, is kind of old. Let me zoom in up close so you, so you can see this, 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 this is getting a little bit old. Looks like horse manure, and it's um, kind of like it tastes. Maybe how would I know how that tastes like? Oh, uh. yeah, and, and I like the pussy better. Now, well, I got a list of coming up. Let's just check out the what we're gonna do next. I still have this in my mouth. You know what? Let's move straight into the same shit in a different pack. This is the same general body loose. Let's move on to that one now. I 
I think um, I use this a lot today, so I, I don't need to keep this in my mouth and review for long. But I think um, the general loose it's um, it's a lot like the like the general portions. The, the, the taste it gets uh, I can taste it better as the loose I, I taste a little bit more tobacco from it but in the portions you get more the general taste a little bit more than the tobacco I think yeah oh, there's a huge difference I think between these two it's exactly the same. Just, just loose and portions. Only difference between the two. Very different. Taste actually kicks in quite a hard now. I know this tastes quite well, because I used it uh, a lot uh, lately. When I first started using the Genoval, it, it wasn't. This taste uh, it wasn't so strong then, but. The more you, I use the general, the more apparent the taste becomes. That uh, special, uh, that, that the distinctive uh, general taste. It's not pleasant, that pleasant. It's, uh, I wouldn't say it's necessarily bad, too bad, but uh, it's not like a judo rape, but. Uh, I haven't tried that Judy Bow Rape for quite a while. Uh, it's maybe I should try it uh, later in the video just to see how it is now. Yeah, let's uh, cut this. Okay. Oh, I took it out that general. I won't buy it again. I'm getting to get a taste. <laughs> and that's why I move over to general extra stark, extra strong portion. This is what I'm reviewing what I'm reviewing now. I will show you something. This I also want to review granite explosive extra strong portion, but I'm all out of it, so I'm gonna buy some more tomorrow. This is kind of like kind of like the general, except it doesn't have a general taste on it, so it's better, and it's also much stronger. So I'm gonna buy some more like tomorrow. I probably won't review it for a while, but yeah, the taste comes on. I would say it's the general taste is much stronger than in this one than in the uh, uh, not strong, extra strong version of the general version I can taste that uh, fucking taste uh, now I'm getting really sick of it, I don't like it too much I don't think I would ever buy it again Okay Next up on the menu Scruff Original white. Let's get this shit. Maybe I should take a drink. Swallow the general taste down. Yeah, I don't drink Coca Cola anymore. Uh. Let's go into Scruff. Scruff, scruff, oh, fuck that general there, oh, heavy tobacco on it, yeah, I can start the own bag in, now I'm scruffing, this, this one I can really quickly, I've used it a lot today, the taste on it, uh, it comes on uh, strong, I mean uh, slow, <coughs> 
I, I know so strong actually, yeah. Yeah, so some stronger taste, I think, than uh, tobacco taste, than uh, well, all the tastes too, than uh, general. I'm not sure, I tried to compare it earlier today to find out which one was best, but I'm not really into any of them too much. Yeah. I think general and Scruff, you know, they are two of the most popular brands along with Jedbug, right? I, I, I think it's... it's I don't think it's the one is with the worst ones actually. Well this takes a long time to kick in. And while it's kicking in, let me show you the next package. Two more left. Oh uh, yeah. Uh, Catch uh, eucalyptus long slim portion. It's a lot of brands, a lot of different variations in this different. Yeah, it comes in those circles like that. Some of them come like that. Well, before we will, let's finish this. Uh, what was I reviewing now again? Uh, uh, wait a minute. That scruff. <coughs> Original right. Yeah, 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 blah, blah, blah. Twenty-four portions. Strength two out of four. Yeah, this one has more of a light tobacco taste, but still a strong taste of tobacco. But yeah, no, this, this, this is worse. Scruff, that's worse than general. Yes, yeah, a more strong um, tobacco ish. And not a good one. But there's other taste of some um, light. That kind of reminds me of your tobacco, like the light um, stuff. Herbs, light herbs. Well, <laughs> no. Oh yeah, fuck! I got another one. Maybe I should, no, let's, yeah, no, let's save that for that. Moving to this catch. Collect. No, I will show you. Oh, fuck this cross. This cross. Half and half. It's uh, uh, eucalyptus. Uh, I taste mint very good. Well, it's not quite mintish, but uh, it's mentholish. Yeah, definitely some uh, herbs. I, f I feel like I'm tasting a tree, like I'm snacking on a tree. It's good for you forest people. Would I bug again? No. This ain't so good. It's the same uh, scruff, uh, scruffy taste. No, not quite. No, not the same. And it's... Uh, night, night, night. Oh, fuck. I'm getting a I'm getting a 
Eucalyptus, Eucalyptus. I showed that out. I want to show you the next Granite Arctic Burst Mint White Portion. Oh, that cash wasn't very good. <laughs> oh. It's no wonder why I didn't even finish the package. Opening up. This I only tried once before. I only used one of them and was like fuck 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 and I just threw this whole box on the floor and never, never touched it again. It was the worst sneeze I ever tried at that point. Let's try it again now see how it is. again fuck man there it tastes oh my fucking god oh it tastes like nasty chewing gum caramelish oh fuck this is not not just a mental cigarette fuck it, it, it has mint in there yeah but <laughs> Because the most sickening things I ever tried. <laughs> oh fuck and shit! Oh shit! Oh, that didn't stay in my mouth for more than one minute or two. Was that, 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 that was gruesome? I was, oh, and now I'm going to the last. <laughs> yeah, there's only one left of this because I used all the others. I fucked up the cover on this so you can see what it is, but. It is uh, this one in, in portion format, uh, Odin's uh, Extreme Loose. I haven't even opened this yet. And now I'm keeping this in my mouth. This is great snooze, great snooze. Odin's Cold Extreme. World's strongest snooze and tastes very good. Get it if you want. <laughs> and this concludes this video. <laughs> Hello! Hey, okay, we're going to review some some my last new year. Because I recently modeled a ticket call a rolling train on the subway machine. Fuck machine in my head. Where, 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 where is the rest of the world? First one I'm gonna touch It's um, uh, Thunder uh, Ultra Strong Portion Mint Let me open the package here It's some damn shit I used a lot when I last time I used this a lot was when I was uh, on vacation. I smoke a lot of hashish, hashish, and I, uh, I did a lot of this thunder. I haven't tried it much after that. <laughs> I'm coming back. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, let me show you what I'm doing right now. I'm trying to do. So yeah, I have one, two, and three. Uh, an extra. Uh, four glass. Uh, uh, yeah. The first one here is mixed out with some 
some pure alcohol, pure alcohol. 60% mixed out uh, with Fanta and ice bits. You can't see the ice anymore because it's gone there no more. So it's a lot of water in the two. In these. There's the ice in the five no limb. And uh, this one is a uh, Jägermeister Phantom. And uh, this is a uh, um, uh, fuck what this. Yeah, vodka and uh, Phantom. And this uh, is um, cider. Yeah, this one, uh, Thunder, is a um, very minty taste. Uh, it's uh, got a, a lot of... Uh, Copenhagen qualities about it. And that means it's total shit. Alcohol. This is the uh, next package. This one I bought because it looked very interesting. Ah, oh, fuck, I fucked the car uh, This is uh, Jakobsen's Sommarsnus made smoke of Smultron. Yeah, especially a uh, summer, summer snus with the uh, taste of um, strawberries. Which is why I bought it, because it's strawberry, so... Hey, fill up there, 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 fill up my grave. It's in there, it's in there, man, it's in there. This is more of um, yeah. I bought this. It's gonna look interesting on the cover, and I want to try the strawberry because I like strawberries. But uh, <laughs> yeah, I also got another Jacobson called Ice Fruit. I'm not sure if I reviewed that in another video, but uh, that wasn't so good. And some of this is actually even worse than Ice Fruit. When you keep this in your mouth for a while, it's uh, got a sickening, uh, sickening thing to it. Don't know what it is, but there's something about it. Uh, how many else do I have to review? No. I don't do this shit much no. After this one. I'm gonna review my favorite news. Granite e explosive uh, extra strong portion. Yeah, all these are portions. I like a better portion. Oh, Hannah, oh, I did taste the nut in the jungle. This is the most Oh, fucking shit. Ooh, what are they doing with this stuff? What are they doing to it? Oh, wow, shit. Oh, fuck, come on. Oh my god, what are they doing with it? I think I better take some vodka for this. On camera. Here's the vodka, man. Let's pick it up. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. I can get shit, I can throw this shit on. Oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and now for the granito. I need to take a smoke soon. To waste one of these, but ah, no, no, I got two packages of this. Unfortunately, ah, no, that's okay. Some nice news, good news. Well, I try. And it's a cheaper one, too. It's not one of the expensive ones.
and this and this the and this uh, And this is right now I'm doing the granite explosive base. New Year It explodes in your mind like fireball. It's kinda old. Oh, okay, taste one. Well, yeah, I recommend you give it a shot. If you're into pure tobacco without any extra taste, I do it. I'm going getting off. This is the end of the review. Goodbye. We're almost the end. <laughs> I'm gonna take a marble at the end of the video to finish the video. Yeah, 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 a music album uh, that I made. Uh, you are probably familiar with a music album I made back in 2012 called Respected for Being Bad Shit Crazy. Well, I want to tell you something a little bit about that album. Uh, the, about the title and uh, uh, where that comes from. The album title is not something that I just made up on the spot. You know, you're still a cool or a way. Holy shock! Go fly with a coconut. Uh, that album title is not something that I just made up. It, it comes from, it was inspired by a comment I got on one of my games that I made. Uh, yeah, and, uh, and, and the comment was that, uh, and this is uh, what, what they said. They said to me, Mr. Cubus. You are truly an inflictor of madness. You saw the seeds of chaos everywhere you go. With your total insanity. You are not an evil person. You are evil. And for that, I respect you. And that was actually what they said, man. Oh. It wasn't just like, it wasn't like a friend who, who said it, you know, just, just be nice or something, you know. This was a guy who, who didn't even like most, most of my games, you know, so, uh, it, it was pretty, pretty, pretty sincere comment. And then was was inspired me to to, to make uh, the uh, uh, that album title. And now I think I'm gonna tell you. My day. <laughs>
el maltoy. <coughs> maltoy. But first, I think I'm gonna have myself a little banana. Because that makes me go banana. It's like eating a nut makes me go nut. Damn, it's stuck in there. Oh, come on, come on, man. Now I want to tell you about my first uh, human life. I am I'm, I'm the I am the real god of the sun, Spar. And I want to tell you about my first life. But before I tell you about my first life, I want to tell you about about the name Sparlatakus. And that name came came to me as a revelation. When I was uh, about in, I was very really young. I was just a young teenager, and it was not a voice in my head or anything like that. It was a revelation, and I heard only one word in my mind: "Spalarakus," and I knew then what I uh, about that, and I got some memories back to my skull and then several years later I discovered just by accident that the the, 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 the name is I discovered the name as Spartacus and uh, I thought it was kind of similar to my name you know but, but but that was purely accidental. I didn't discover that until years later. But Spartacus and me is the same person almost. And now I will tell you why. Spartacus was the first life I had as I uh, I was the gold design and the first life I had was Spartacus and I decided to come down to it because, because, yeah, for, for a lot of different reasons but it was my first, first, first time, first try on life motor life, motor life and Spartacus uh, was uh, I was freeing the slaves there I was, I was fighting against the government there yeah, and I won the battle. They did they, they, they be a good memory. Yeah, fighting the government. Yeah, what about the battle? The battle, it's a good one. Good memory. It's good. And uh, then I mysteriously disappeared. My body was never found. I became a vampire and the cool. But then after a while, I decided to go back back to the sun where I belong. And yeah. But then uh, in the 1700s, I came back. Uh, 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 I came back and in 1700 I started the Illumin Illuminati and I wanted to have a lot of high profile, high status people in my organization because I thought that was uh, important for, for what the goal of the Illuminati was but then a little bit later <laughs> Uh, the, uh, the authorities at the time they um, they banned secret societies so I was forced to, to go underground to avoid the prosecution I think a little, little bit more my banana for this 
Hmm. I wonder why this uh, tastes a little bit li like sperm. <laughs> and some of, and I had a lot of members in the organization, f f Freemasons. Because at that time, that was a very high profile. If you are Freemason, you were very high profile in, in status in society. There was a high profile back then. So I had some of the members. But some of those members, they, they didn't like it when, when we went underground and our new operations. And so some of, so a few of them, they quit. And when they quit, some of the other masons, they, they joined them, you know. So for a long time I was really pissed off at the fucking masons people, you know. But then I got tired of life, you know. I got re re really fucking tired of life, so, so at the time, yeah, so... Uh, I killed myself and went back up to the sun. And then in the, in the 1980s, uh, I decided to, 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 to come back to Earth. Because I felt like this was a new, new age, a new digital age. Yeah, I could pick back up a little bit. And so I decided to come back to Earth. So I possessed the body of a fetus or a premium one. I manipulated the doctor so I could decide my own look a bit and then uh, make myself look good and then uh, yeah, I was born again in, in the 1980s another life <laughs> I'm almost out, out, out of this banana I better finish this video up soon as Now after then uh, yes I have a nice website. You know, I have uh, I've done some uh, good work. Yeah, I mean, it's good, it's good. So uh, it was a toy I was gonna tell you about today. Uh, and pretty soon, I'm gonna have some. I'm gonna have some uh, new stuff uh, in the in the cuba shop uh, soon. Oh, I'm gonna some there. I'm gonna go some new new wares out there soon. So uh, yeah. And I tell you, if you buy one of the items al already in, in the store, you know what I'm gonna do? Just because I'm such a nice guy, I'm gonna throw in a little something extra for you, for free. When you buy something within the, in, within the rest of the year that this video was made, I'm gonna, for the first person who purchases it, they're gonna get a, a special surprise. You wanna get something entirely for free in the package that I deliver to them. I tell you what it is. I show you, I show you, show you, show you, show you. Don't worry, I'll show you. Buy something this month. I'll throw you in this free cassette just for you. The free cassette uh, it's uh, uh, I don't speak the language by Matthew Wilde, yeah. yeah. Okay, so. And you know what? I'll even throw in this uh, Pocahontas! Yeah! Search for free! Good cassette! Fuck your TV, man! Fuck your TV! Mr. Kobe is gonna watch TV. I never watch TV. People watch TV, you know, they watch all kinds of annoying shit that you wouldn't believe people watch. Oh, oh, fuck, I gotta turn on the power. Yeah, first channel I clicked on and we go straight into the good stuff right away. This is good, this is good. 
This is what all people should be watching on television. This is non-top, nothing stupid, nothing stupid on this. Nothing. Very good. Let's take the next channel. No, fuck, 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 fuck. Can you believe it? Shit. Now you gotta be careful which channel you should share. Because if, if you go, go on the right one, you're gonna come on one low shit. The fucking people on. Let me go. Shit, 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 shit. Quickly spin to all these channels. Nah, no, fuck, I'm going the wrong way. I'm going the wrong way. Nah, 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 nah. Shit, 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 shit. I'm fucking with the video. And then you come back on this. This is the only, only tough uh, I watch on TV when I watch TV, which is pretty much never really bother. Good stuff. I don't know if you can hear it on the camera, but there is some good peeping sounds here. You can see so good on the camera, but but it's a lot of difference between the, between these channels here. Yeah. See, there's a lot of them, and the footage is non-stop, you know, non-stop action. Yeah. And this this one's very good. Hmm. This reminds me of Pua! Oh, wait, I'm gonna get sick. Oh, God, no. oh yeah. I'm fucking the TV, man. I'm fucking the TV. Oh, man. Uh, what you looking at? What, what you looking at, man? Oh, so what? I'm fucking the TV. To look at. Wow! <laughs> I got a lot of that. Oh, look at it! I don't know if it's really good, but look at it! Hot as shit! Melting on, in, onto my hands, man! Shit! Hello, people! Today, I'm gonna talk about a vampire. My vampire story. It's gonna be a, a very honest video, this video, I, got, I gotta warn you, this is very honest stuff, what I'm saying today is, it's actually real, real stuff, uh, so you have been warned. Eh? <laughs> but before I start to uh, tell my uh, vampire, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about vampires first. Uh, what they what they are, so that you get a little bit more back backdrop on the what the fuck I'm talking about. A vampire today is one of the world's most best kept secrets, probably. But I tell you, it's very real. First off, you must forget about. If you don't know about it, which you probably don't if you're watching this video, you must forget about... Wait, my number. My number. For those who don't know, this is for those who don't know first. Uh, first of all, you must forget about uh, all that sanguinary and uh, psy psychic, psionic, vampire shit. Cause that's all bullshit people, that's just poses and not real vampires, they're just humans who think they are vampires because Ooh, I got a fucking energy problem and that makes me a vampire So, now that you have forgotten about that, let me tell you a little bit more about the real toe <laughs> You might be uh, familiar with uh, if you're a gamer, you might be familiar with uh, a role-playing game uh, called uh, Vampire the Masquerade. Well, uh, um, 
the, the dead one has a lot of truth in it. Now I'm not sure why, maybe some vampire who, who told him uh, to make a role-playing game out of it, but a lot of it, that stuff is true in a way. <clears throat> Uh, like uh, La Sombra Vampires uh, uh, and uh, Shadow People, you know, if you do a, a Google search for, for uh, Shadow uh, People, you can find a lot of info about that. Uh, those kind of people are real, as many, some of you people uh, have seen it. And those people are vampires. Uh, Invisible uh, vampires who can uh, control shadows and uh, stuff like that. And also other things like Malkavian vampires who are not invisible, who you can see. They look just like a human, but they're all real vampires. Yeah. yeah. And they want to keep this a very big secret. What I'm going to talk about today is the shadow. Vampire is, uh, is going to be the focus of the topic today. <clears throat> now that you know a little bit, but not much, I'm going to tell you, start right now, straight to the point, my history of vampire. Yeah. I have lo lo quite some deal of history between, between the... the, the um, it all started way back in 2006. Uh, I would wake up one day and I would have a terrible pain in my stomach. The, the, I always had problems with my stomach my whole life, but this time it was different. Before, the, the stomach pain would go all the way up and then all the way down again. But this time I stay up all the time. I walked outside and then I took some pills, some uh, uh, some just some over the counter painkillers. Took two of them, did not work. Took some more, did not work. So I went out for a walk and it was still pretty strong pain in the stomach. So I took some more pills. I think I took a lot, ten pills. Uh, 12 pills, or a lot of pills. And after I took the pills, uh, all of a sudden the pain was pretty extreme. Uh, I felt like my lungs were opening up, uh, closing down. I was really fucking painful. <laughs> and then my soul, all, after some time, my whole body was in pain. I was screaming out loud, turning and twisting all around. This continued for a few hours. And back and back then I didn't know shit about vampires. Real vampires, that is not not the, not the shit. And uh, <laughs> so I didn't know that I was changing into a vampire. Nobody told me anything about this. So I, I went to I went to the doctor. Because I thought I was dying, I was only 19, 20 years old, something around that. I don't know how old, could be old, about some of that. And uh, so I went to the doctor, you know, and when I was lying there, strangely enough, he didn't examine me or anything. He seemed to know instantly what was wrong with me. I told him about the pills and everything. Um, and the doctor... He gave me some kind of uh, needle in in my ass, uh, or no, in the behind some place, and it stopped the uh, the the pain and the transformation. And then a little bit later, the same day, it actually came back. But then it only lasted a few minutes and then boom, never had that again. Now, over the years, I have discovered that this uh, incident was a vampire change. Um, 
And the thing is, um, if I have gone through that whole thing, whole pain, without going to the doctor, then I would become a vampire a day. So you can see I'm kind of mad at the vampires with these because uh, I got because uh, everywhere I go now, a lot of people are gonna uh, see, a lot of people think that I'm a vampire too, you know. Everywhere I go, and I almost been killed twice now by the vampires for getting them into uh, trouble, so like exposing them, etc. And uh, even for when I them. So it's uh, pretty nasty. And now I can never be a vampire, you know, because of the. the, the I, suspect they have, I suspect they have tried to change me many times, but. It's, it's to know how well I cannot be like that now, I think. And now I use tobacco too, so uh, tobacco is uh, anti antivirus, so it, it kills the virus, I think. Uh, so yeah, now it's a problem. And I could have been a vampire before I made any of those stupid movies and everything else. Uh, Oh. I'm gonna really fucking sick of But as always, I, I, I keep keep my hope, hope, hopes up. <sighs> but, but, but it's, it's uh, pretty heavy. I've been very happy in my dreams lately. It's just a shame that I have to fucking wake up to this fucking reality. I hate everything about fucking everything. I'm thinking, I guess. Fucking. Oh. The fucking snooze that I've been using fucking make me sick as been trying to stop smoking so I can try and see if that can make me go change into a vampire so I tried to use snooze instead. I've been stop I've I have smoked in quite a few days and use snooze instead but Snooze is unpleasant. It's never been pleasant even once. As many times I use it now. I try really hard on it, but it's unpleasant. I think I will, might, might go back back to smoking again. <sighs> this vampire blood in my body is. It makes me feel all all cold inside sometimes, all itchy and uh, everything. It's like uh, when you when you become a zombie in the <coughs> in the Resident Evil game, you like that. I'm a, I am a zombie, you know, in a way. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a zombie. I'm a zombie. I'm a zombie. I'm dead. I'm fucking dead in the head. Oh, vampires, oh, vampires, oh, 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 vampires, I'm so tired of life, man. I'm so fucking tired of this fucking shit. Gimbal, goobal, oh, I'm fucking tired, man. I'm fucking tired. Vampires, oh. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Easy. When you bang your 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 bang bang your 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 
primera voz es Babas, Babarakun. from playing and playing non stop banyo non stop banyo non stop banyo music with a bat in the head yeah and the stuff in the bed hello people at 12 It, then I'm gonna tell you a little story from, from what happened in what I did, did, did used to do when I was a little bit younger. Well, I used to sell some uh, uh, good uh, drugs to little children, but it is not what you think. It is not something that you can find on the street. It's a special uh, joke. It all started when, uh, when I needed a little bit more cash when I was a little bit younger. So I figured I would enter the, the drug business. So I... Uh, uh, but uh, I couldn't find any, any place to uh, get uh, stuff uh, back then. So uh, I took um, the oven. <laughs> I took some uh, good uh, shit. Uh, uh, if you find from the toilet, 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 I found some good shit from the toilet, the poopy, and I put it in the oven, and and then, and then I then I cooked it very long, very very long. I tell ya, and I cooked it it's so long. That it became very, and I, it became uh, very, very hard, very hard. But and then I, I, I saw, uh, I saw a picture on the, on the internet of a drug called honey, and, and I saw that the, the, the stuff I make in the oven, it, it looked the same. Hey, hey. So uh, I, I took it in, in a couple of couple of bags, and I went went to the school, and I found some kids who who really into into drugs, and I asked them if they wanted some good shit, and strangely enough, they wanted it. Yeah, so I sold them both the bags. Two, two bags of oh, good shit. And that was my story.